Hi hey guys. So we're gonna play a scenario here, one of the easy ones. And the conditions are that we have to earn three or more victory points and return the Bismarck back to port, either one of the two. And return Prince Eugen, if that's pronounced correctly, also to port, both of them after turn 16. So what I've done is I've very lightly plotted a course that will get me back to port in 17 turns. And looking at the possible roles for encounters, I've placed the U-boat right here for a chance at getting a random loan merchant ship, which is worth one victory point. So I'm gonna come down Move two, move two, move two, move two. Be in the same movement square as the submarine. Move two and then one all through here on the upper movement squares on row E. And then back into port. So we'll use this as the, well, they have white and black we'll use this for the white and that for the black okay one one force h from gibraltar that has no effect on anybody and so now we're going to move and just so you know i'm going to keep the bismarck and the organ together through this whole mission so this into turn one turn two we roll a 2-6, which is a lone warship, Prince of Wales. So we're in the zone against the Prince of Wales. No air attacks, no U-boat attacks. We're going to resolve ship combat. Bismarck fires first. A 1, a 2, and a 5. And I'm not going to move. I'm just going to keep it at normal range for now. When I, If I do decide to use a tactic, I'll let you know. That's two hits on the Prince of Wales. Now the Eugen rolls two and gets one hit on the Prince of Wales. Prince of Wales has two dice to roll against the Bismarck and gets two hits on the Bismarck. Wow. Okay. Now, the Prince of Wales has less firepower than the Bismarck and the Wagon, so they are going to attempt to leave the conflict. A five. They do not. Okay, round two of combat. Bismarck. Well, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and take my shots. One hit on the Prince of Wales. We'll roll two for the organ. One hit. And the Prince of Wales on the Bismarck. One hit. Okay. Now, can they avoid another round of combat? Three, they do. Okay. That is the end of turn two. So, we've moved two. We're gonna move two down into here. Okay, let's roll our encounter. 44, 44 gives us, excuse me, Heavy cruisers, and they're within three through D. So we're in the heavy cruiser area. It says roll two ship combat dice, apply hit someone to three, and I can choose which ship they go against. So heavy cruisers, get one hit. I'll put that one hit on the Oigan. That's into turn three. Turn four. We're going to move down to here. 
I have my girl here. <laughs> I may have to move her to get to some of these results. Shabs just loves paper. Okay, two six gives us again the Prince of Wales. Are we still in their zone? No, we are not. Oh, yes, we are. We're still here. Okay, still the Prince of Wales. Okay, the Prince of Wales is down to three. So it must have been tracking us. It's down to three damaged before it gets sunk. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll the Bismarck normal, and I'll probably take the Eugen and try to close in if it looks like I just need one more hit to win. Okay, let's see if we can roll good. Give me some. Two hits. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to do that. So to move close in, we're going to roll one die. We need a one or a two. Anything but a six. A four. So we're going to take a hit, but we get to roll three dice. So there's another hit on the organ, and they go three dice. I just need one to sink the Prince of Wales. Woo! <laughs> I'm glad I took that extra dice. Three, one hit. That's four victory points. Boom. That meets our requirement. So now we can just stay out here until turn 16, go home, and have a successful mission. We got to stay alive, though. Okay, so now we're going to move, that's turn one, two, three, we're going to turn four. Now we're rendezvousing with the submarine, which is going to stay here the whole game. Okay, and if we roll a three and a one, two, or three, then we get the one extra victory point. <laughs> which we just did. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so in this location, what comes up is a lone merchant, one victory point. So we'll mark that here. So we're now at five victory points. It's into turn four. We're now going to move down here. This will also, one of the reasons I chose to come down through here, it's the E column. And at least for... Uh, I'm just looking, at least for these three turns, this square and this square, we will be in the convoy lane with the repulse and a potential chance for a convoy and more victory points. Let's roll for an event. Come on, fives. Okay, sorry, Missy, I need to be able to read this. Five and five, battleship sighted, and that is the Hood and the Prince of Wales. Well, it's just the Hood. The Prince of Wales has already been sunk. Okay, so Bismarck opens up. We're gonna keep normal range. Two hits on the Hood. Prince Eugen will roll two. Three and a four, that's one hit. And the HMS Hood has three against the Bismarck and gets one hit. Okay. Are they going to stay in combat, the Prince Hood? Or are they leaving? They're out of there. Okay. That's the end of turn one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to move one movement. The U boat has stayed where it's at. Okay, let's roll for an encounter. 55, same thing. It's the hood. Now the hood's in trouble. These British ships come in, they do a little damage, take some, they back off, and they're just relentless. They come back in. So far, we've been able to deal with the Prince of Wales. Let's see if we can take the hood out. Two hits. Okay. Prince Eugen, a one, that sinks the hood. 
The only question I have is if they, it's the Bismarck and then the British and then the Eugen. I'm playing it this way. If it's wrong, we'll adjust it next time we play. That's another three victory points. Okay, let's roll for the next encounter. Now we're not home yet. 25. That gives us the King George, right? Column, oh, we're in column five. No, nope, that gives us the Prince of Wales. Prince of Wales is no longer with us. That ends turn six. We move here for turn seven. Let's roll for an event. 61. Excuse me, honey. Oh, she just nipped at me. Okay, 61 swordfish attack and they lose all their extra fuel but we were not counting on using any at this point as we're only moving one square anyway that's part of the reason why i did this just to minimize just those types of effects to not mess up my plan now one two three four five six seven turns are now done okay let's roll for the next event 31. 31. Boom. We got another lone merchant ship. One more victory point. So that U-boat sitting there has paid us off with two points. Let's go to the next turn. Roll for an event. 42. That is the King George. That would have been the convoy, but we're not in five. We just left. Otherwise, we would have had the repulse in the convoy. We end up getting the King George. The King George has a strength of three, and it's four victory points. But okay, this could be interesting. Bismarck opens up with two hits. Hoygan rolls. One hit, Prince George, three hits, uh, uh, three rolls on the Bismarck, and gets two hits. Okay, now it's getting a little, a little scary. Hmm. We still have a ways to go to get home, so this is not by any means a done deal. Okay, Prince George. No, oh, I forget which way it is. One, two, three. I think they leave. British, one, two, three, they evade. I may have flipped those rolls before. Again, not going to worry about it at this point. So King George came in, did a little damage to the Bismarck, and backed off. Now let's see if they follow suit, and we end up with them again. 43. 43. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Prince George is coming back in. Bismarck does two. Man, the Bismarck's guns have just been on point this whole cruise. Oh, oh, oh. William with two big hits. Now, Prince George needs to deliver. If they can get three hits on the Bismarck, this would be huge. They got two. That's actually not too bad. The Bismarck is now down to three life. We still have like five turns to go. Wow, okay. This is, oh, I need to roll to see if they stick around or not. I almost messed it up. They stick around. Oh, this could be the end of the Bismarck if they can't take out the Prince the King George. One hit. He's down to one. We're going to take and we're going to move in. To, we're going to close in with the, the Eugen. A two. They take one damage, but they get to roll three dice. We just need one to take out the King George. Oh, we got it. Good thing. Good thing. 
King George, now gone, another four. This is definitely gonna get us a medal. That was the last real, well, the Rodney can do three. But that was a huge threat. Okay, now we're gonna move. That ends turn nine. Let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're on to turn 10. A one, two. That is four stage from Gibraltar. Does nothing. That's actually good for us. Turn 11. Let's roll for an encounter. One, four. One, four. Wing and a prayer. And on a one, on a, a four through six, reduce speed by, to one ship. So this doesn't really matter because I'm only going to move one. Again, this is the tactic that I put into play to minimize some of the things that are happening. But they do get a six. We want to do this. Let's... Let's take one off there. Okay. Count this out now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it was turn 11, just to verify. So we're going to go here now. We're turn 12. 52. Okay. She's laying on the paper and she will bite me if I move her. <laughs> Grumpy old lady. So I'm going to flip this up and see what 52 is. 52. Swordfish. Okay, same thing. Roll two attack dice. Apply on how I choose. One hit. And that's going to go on to the prince. Well, okay. That's turn 12. Turn 13. This is getting close. Let's roll an event. <clears throat> 56. King George and Rodney. There is no King George. There is only the Rodney. Oh, the Rodney is the... Oh! <laughs> this is going to be close. Okay. Bismarck. Two damage to the Rodney. Oh, again. One damage to the Rodney. They get to roll three. This could sink the Bismarck. Oh, my goodness. This would be a story. This would be a story. Two, two, six. Hi, we're down to one. We're down to one. Okay, we need the Rodney to run away. Run away, run away. The Rodney sticks around. We need to do four damage. Okay, Bismarck. Gunners, don't fail me now. Oh, only one hit. Okay, we're going to close in with the Eugen. A six, that sinks the Eugen, they take two. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't believe that. Oh, oh no, no, no. A six takes two hits. Well, get to add one to our firepower as we're going down. Okay, the Rodney only needs to roll one hit and they sink the Bismarck. Boom. Ah! Boom. Oh, it was a glorious cruise until it wasn't. Oh, man. Oh. oh, this game just bites you in the butt when you think you have a beat. What was that, turn 13? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's where she goes down. Oh, man. I'll put a little X. Wow. 
Okay, guys. Um, just got to say, these games from Worthington, the two that I've played so far, Guadalcanal and the Bismarck, are top-notch games. This is what print-on-demand games should be. So if you are out there producing a print-on-demand game, buy these Worthington games and up your game. Up your game. Get your, get your skills up. Get your presentation. This is professional-looking. That's the challenge that we have as game designers. This is what I'm going to try to design. Games that are this fun, this beautiful, and this much full of tension. I thought I had this beat. And took out the King George, the Prince of Wales, the Hood. All went down. And HMS Rodney comes in and saves the day. Hats off. Got to salute him. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.